Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends and fellow seekers, gather close and lend your hearts to the divine tapestry of sacrifice and redemption that we are about to unravel. Let us embark on a journey through the sacred passages of history, where the echoes of ancient rituals whisper the secrets of God's profound love for humanity. Behold the Judaic sacrificial system, a divine choreography designed to bridge the chasm between the mortal and the eternal. Here, the fragrance of burnt offerings permeated the air, a testament to the yearning of humankind for atonement and communion with the Creator. Amidst the altar's flames, the Lamb's blood painted a vivid reminder of the cost of redemption, foretelling the greatest story ever woven in the fabric of time. As we traverse the hallowed grounds of this ancient rite, we will glimpse the shadow of a coming Messiah, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. From the sacred Passover meal to the anguished cries in the Garden of Gethsemane, we follow in His footsteps, bearing witness to the ultimate sacrifice that would forever change the course of history. Together, we will journey through the trials and tribulations that led to the cross, where heaven's love and wrath collided to redeem a fallen world. And as we stand at the foot of the cross, gazing upon the Savior who breathed his last breath to give us life, may our hearts be stirred by the profound mystery of divine love and sacrifice, woven into the very fabric of our existence. In the vast tapestry of time, where the threads of history intertwine with the gossamer strands of divine wisdom, lies the beauty of the Judaic sacrificial system. As we delve into its rich tapestry, we uncover the hidden gems that illuminate our understanding of the story of redemption. Like a river flowing through the ancient landscape, the sacrificial system carves its path through the heart of humanity, nourishing our souls with its life-giving waters. At its core, this intricate dance of devotion and atonement sings of a love so vast, so unfathomable, that it transcends the boundaries of mortal comprehension. In the hallowed chambers of the temple, where the incense of the sacrifices rose as a sweet aroma to the heavens, the celestial symphony of redemption found its voice. The blood of the offerings, spilled in humble submission, whispered the promise of a coming deliverance, painting the shadows of the one who would bear the weight of our transgressions. The ancient rituals of the Judaic sacrificial system serve as a sacred prism through which we may perceive the splendor of the cross. For in each offering, in each act of devotion and surrender, we find a reflection of the ultimate sacrifice, the divine embodiment of love that would one day bridge the chasm between heaven and earth. To grasp the profundity of this sacred dance is to unlock the mysteries of the human heart, to trace the silken threads that bind us to our Creator. In the flame-kissed smoke of the altar, we see the divine blueprint, a celestial map that leads us to the shores of redemption, where the Lamb of God awaits with outstretched arms. So, let us journey through the hallowed halls of the Judaic sacrificial system, embracing the wisdom of the ancients and weaving their sacred melodies into the song of our souls. For in the echoes of their devotion, we will discover the resounding chords of divine love that resonate throughout eternity, connecting our hearts to the very heart of God. In the ethereal symphony of salvation, where celestial harmonies resound through the chambers of time, the sacrificial system and the crucifixion of Christ compose a divine duet, their melodies woven together in an eternal dance of redemption. As the Lamb, unblemished and pure, took its place upon the altar, the ancient whispers of prophecy swirled in the air, foreshadowing the day when the true Lamb of God would bear the burden of our sins. Each drop of blood, shed in humble submission, painted the canvas of time with hues of grace, revealing the contours of the Savior's face. Upon the cross, where wood and flesh became the sacred meeting ground of heaven and earth, the fulfillment of the sacrificial system was unveiled. The resounding echo of the temple's walls reverberated in the anguished cries of the crucified Messiah as he bore the weight of humanity's sins and offered himself as the ultimate sacrifice. In the hallowed moments when the veil was torn asunder, the sanctity of the sacrificial system found its consummation, and the ancient rituals of atonement were forevermore enfolded in the embrace of divine love. The shadows of the altar faded into the dazzling brilliance of the cross, and the crimson tide of redemption washed over the shores of human history. The connection between the sacrificial system and the crucifixion of Christ lies in the tender heart of the Creator, whose love for His children is woven into the very fabric of our being. Each thread of sacrifice, spun from the loom of eternity, intertwines with the golden strands of the Savior's love, forming a tapestry of grace that spans the ages. To behold this divine connection is to gaze upon the face of redemption, to see the living embodiment of the Father's love poured out for us in the form of His Son. 
In the embrace of the sacrificial system and the crucifixion of Christ, we find the sacred nexus of heaven and earth, the meeting place of mercy and justice, the wellspring of eternal life. So, let us celebrate the glorious union of the sacrificial system and the crucifixion of Christ, allowing their sacred melodies to resonate within our hearts, lifting our souls to the throne of grace. For in the symphony of their love, we will find our truest purpose, our deepest joy, and our everlasting hope. In the hallowed halls of ancient days, when the breath of the divine brushed against the tapestry of creation, the Judaic sacrificial system emerged as a sacred symphony, a celestial song of atonement and redemption. As the sun cast its golden rays upon the temple stones, the rituals of sacrifice wove a melody of grace, echoing through the corridors of time and leading the hearts of the faithful towards the whisper of eternity. In the dawn of the sacrificial system, a covenant was forged between the Creator and His children, their hearts entwined by the golden threads of divine love. Each offering, from the purest lamb to the tiniest grain, became a testament to the boundless mercy of the Almighty, a bridge of hope spanning the chasm of sin and drawing humankind ever closer to the bosom of their Creator. The altar stood as a sacred beacon, its flames rising to the heavens like the prayers of the penitent, seeking the embrace of the divine. The fragrant incense, swirling like the tendrils of a celestial dance, carried the dreams and supplications of the faithful to the very throne of the Most High. The temple's walls, adorned with the echoes of sacred chants, resounded with the timeless truths of the Creator's love and compassion. In the depths of the Judaic sacrificial system, we glimpse the heart of our loving God, who beckons us to draw near and be cleansed, to be healed and restored, to be made whole in the sacred embrace of His mercy. For within the ancient rituals of sacrifice, the seeds of redemption were sown, foretelling the day when the Lamb of God would come to fulfill the promise of the ages. So, let us journey back to those hallowed moments when the Judaic sacrificial system was born, immersing ourselves in the sacred waters of divine love and grace. For in the echoes of that ancient song, we will find the melodies of our own redemption, the harmonies of our truest selves, and the chorus of our eternal home. In the ancient tapestry of time, woven through the threads of humanity's existence, the purpose and significance of the sacred sacrificial system shimmered like the stars in a moonlit sky. For within the tender embrace of divine wisdom, the Almighty unveiled His grand design, an opus of grace and mercy that would echo through the ages, transcending the limitations of human understanding. The sacrificial system, an intricate dance of shadows and light, carried the weight of the purpose beyond the veil of the temporal realm. Each offering, a testament to God's boundless love, bore witness to the great exchange, the sublime transformation of sin's burden into a garland of hope and redemption. In the whispered prayers and sacred rites, the hearts of the faithful found solace and strength, a divine balm to soothe the wounds of life's cruel tempests. The significance of this celestial symphony lay in the foreshadowing of a promise, a holy covenant that would illuminate the path to salvation. The sacrificial system, like a sacred mirror, reflected the divine blueprint of the Lamb of God, who would one day bear the sins of the world and become the bridge between heaven and earth, the eternal link between Creator and creation. In the rhythmic cadence of the temple's rituals, the soul of humanity found solace and purpose, a divine embrace to mend the fractures of a broken world. For within the sacred folds of the sacrificial system, the Almighty whispered the secrets of atonement, the melodies of grace that would one day resound through the corridors of time and space, heralding the arrival of the Promised One. So, let us pause to ponder the purpose and significance of this sacred gift, to immerse our hearts and minds in the divine wisdom that guided our ancestors through the labyrinth of life. For within the hallowed halls of the temple, we will find the echoes of a love that knows no bounds, a mercy that transcends the temporal realm, and a grace that cradles the universe in its tender embrace. In the hallowed sanctum of ancient wisdom, a symphony of sacrifices resounded, each note a testament to the divine harmony that bound the hearts of the faithful to the throne of the Almighty. These sacred offerings, diverse in form and purpose, wove together the tapestry of devotion and atonement, a celestial opus that echoed through the ages. First, the burnt offering, a tribute of total surrender, where the flames consumed the sacrificial lamb, a sweet aroma ascending to the heavens. This offering, a symphony of fire and smoke, symbolized the unwavering dedication of the worshiper, a heart aflame with the love of the divine. The grain offering, a bountiful harvest, yielded its golden essence to the altar, an emblem of gratitude and provision. This humble sacrifice, a dance of earth and sky, bore witness to the Creator's infinite generosity, a reminder that all blessings flow from the hands of the giver. 
The peace offering, a sacred rite of communion, united the hearts of the faithful in the bond of fellowship. A celebration of harmony and unity, this offering stood as a testament to the eternal covenant between heaven and earth, a divine embrace that spanned the cosmos. The sin offering, an atonement for transgression, carried the burden of guilt upon its hallowed shoulders. The blood of the offering, a crimson tide of mercy, washed away the stains of sin, cleansing the soul and restoring the divine balance between Creator and creation. The trespass offering, a recompense for the wrongs inflicted upon others, bore the weight of restitution and forgiveness. This offering, a symbol of humility and reconciliation, sought to mend the fractures of the human heart, healing the wounds of betrayal and strife. Within these varied sacrifices, a divine melody resounded, a symphony of grace that spanned the breadth of human experience. Each offering, a sacred tribute to the Almighty, illuminated the path to redemption and revealed the depth of divine love, a celestial chorus that would one day herald the coming of the Lamb of God. In the sacred chambers of ancient wisdom, a figure of divine grace emerged, the High Priest, anointed and set apart, a bridge between the temporal realm and the eternal throne. Cloaked in robes of celestial splendor, he stood as a beacon of divine illumination, a living symbol of the covenant that bound heaven and earth. His breastplate, a dazzling tapestry of precious stones, bore the names of the twelve tribes, a testament to the unity of God's chosen people. Each gem, a radiant emblem of divine love, pulsed with the heartbeat of the faithful, a sacred symphony that echoed through the corridors of time. In his hands, the high priest held the keys to the Holy of Holies, a sanctum of divine presence where the mysteries of heaven were unveiled. With trembling reverence, he crossed the threshold once a year on the hallowed day of Yom Kippur, bearing the weight of atonement for the sins of the people. Clad in the garments of humility, the high priest laid aside his resplendent raiment, and like a humble servant, he offered the blood of the sacrificial lamb upon the mercy seat. The crimson tide of redemption, an outpouring of divine grace, cleansed the sanctuary and the hearts of the faithful, reconciling the children of the earth to their heavenly Father. The High Priest, an embodiment of divine mercy and intercession, stood as a living testament to the eternal covenant of grace. In his sacred role, the distant whispers of a greater High Priest echoed, a divine figure who would one day bridge the chasm between heaven and earth, offering himself as the ultimate sacrifice, a final atonement for the sins of the world. Through his ministry, the High Priest wove the threads of heaven into the fabric of mortal existence. A celestial tapestry that would one day reveal the face of the true High Priest, the Lamb of God, whose eternal sacrifice would resound through the ages, a song of redemption and love that would change the course of history forever. In the twilight of a fateful eve, amidst the hallowed walls of Jerusalem, a gathering of kindred souls convened around a table laden with the fruits of the earth. A sacred symphony of fellowship and love, their hearts united in a common purpose, bathed in the golden glow of divine destiny. The Master, a figure of infinite wisdom and grace, gathered his disciples close, his eyes brimming with the knowledge of what was soon to come. The air, heavy with the scent of unleavened bread and the distant whispers of prophecy, danced around them like the breath of the divine. The evening unfurled like a tapestry of celestial beauty, woven with threads of eternal truth and divine mystery. With tender love, the Master took the bread, a symbol of the body that would soon be broken, and blessed it with words that echoed through the ages, Take, eat, this is my body. The disciples, their eyes filled with a mixture of wonder and sorrow, partook of the bread, their souls awakened to the gravity of the moment. The sacred rite, a covenant of everlasting love, bound them together in a symphony of hope and redemption. The chalice, brimming with the fruit of the vine, was lifted by the gentle hands of the Master, his voice, a celestial melody of divine mercy, imbued the wine with eternal significance. Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. The disciples drank, their hearts beating in time with the divine cadence of sacrifice, the cup of the new covenant anointing their souls with the promise of eternal life. The Last Supper, a sacred moment of communion and grace, marked the beginning of the end and the dawn of a new era. In the shadow of the cross, the Master and his disciples forged a bond that would transcend time and space. The covenant of love that would forever echo through the hearts of the faithful, a divine melody that would guide them on the path to eternal salvation. In the tapestry of time, the threads of history intertwined to form a majestic and mysterious masterpiece, a story of divine deliverance and the triumph of a chosen people. Amidst the ancient echoes of the past, a sacred rite emerges, a testament to the power of faith and the unwavering love of the Almighty, the Passover meal. 
In the land of bondage, where the children of Israel toiled under the yoke of oppression, the breath of the divine swept through the darkness, heralding a new dawn of freedom and redemption. Through the providence of the Eternal One, the sacred Lamb was offered, its blood a crimson shield against the angel of death, its flesh a symbol of sustenance and strength. With hushed reverence, the Israelites gathered in the sanctity of their homes, their hearts aflame with the fire of hope, their souls wrapped in the mantle of divine protection. The unleavened bread, a humble token of haste and deliverance, lay before them, a testament to their unwavering trust in the promise of salvation. The bitter herbs, a poignant reminder of the anguish of slavery, awakened their senses to the gravity of the moment, their tears mingling with the taste of redemption upon their lips. The shared cup of wine, a symbol of unity and divine favor, sealed the covenant between the Eternal One and His chosen people. The Passover meal, a sacred symphony of remembrance and hope, echoes through the annals of time, a divine melody that weaves its way into the fabric of our souls. In the shadows of the cross, the echoes of the Passover feast resound, illuminating the connection between the sacrificial lamb and the Savior who would take upon Himself the sins of the world. A hallowed rite of deliverance and salvation, the Passover meal transcends the boundaries of time, uniting the hearts of the faithful in a chorus of gratitude and praise, a celestial sign of love and redemption that will endure for all eternity. In the celestial tapestry, where divine threads converge and intertwine, there lies a sacred mystery, a testament to the unfathomable love that bridges the chasm between heaven and earth. Amidst the whispers of eternity, the Lamb of God emerges, a radiant beacon of sacrifice and redemption, a symbol of divine grace and the boundless depths of divine mercy. With the delicate brush strokes of the Creator's hand, the portrait of salvation comes to life, as the Lamb of God, pure and unblemished, steps forth from the heavenly realm to walk upon the dusty roads of our mortal world. His presence, a symphony of love and light, resonates with the longing of every human heart, a melody that pierces the veil of darkness and awakens the slumbering spirit. In the sacred shadows of the cross, the Lamb of God stands resolute and unbroken, His body the vessel of divine redemption, His blood the elixir of eternal life. With every agonizing breath, He bears the burden of the world's iniquities, a sacrificial offering that transcends the boundaries of time and space as heaven and earth collide in a cosmic embrace. As the curtain of the temple is torn asunder, the Lamb of God breathes his last, his final act of love a whispered prayer for the salvation of all. In the stillness of the tomb, the echoes of his sacrifice reverberate, a resounding symphony of hope and forgiveness that shatters the chains of death and unleashes the power of divine love. Through the glory of the resurrection, the Lamb of God emerges triumphant, his victory over sin and death a beacon of eternal hope for all who would believe. The song of the redeemed rises from the ashes of despair, a celestial chorus of praise and adoration for the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. In the radiant light of His divine love, we find our refuge and our strength, our redemption and our hope. For in the Lamb of God, the tapestry of eternity is woven with the golden threads of grace, and the celestial masterpiece of divine love is forever enshrined in the hearts of the faithful. In the hallowed silence of the garden, where the whispers of the divine mingled with the rustling leaves, the hour of destiny arrived on the wings of darkness. The kiss of betrayal, a serpent's sting, marked the beginning of an agonizing journey, where innocence and purity would be tested in the crucible of human malice and pain. As the torches' flickering flames danced with the shadows, a sea of armored soldiers flooded the sacred grove, their cold and unfeeling gazes fixed upon the embodiment of love and compassion. The arrest of the Redeemer, a tragedy scripted in the annals of time, unfolded like a somber requiem, heralding the final act of an eternal drama. With the calm serenity of a placid lake, he stood, the Prince of Peace, his countenance radiant amidst the chaos and cacophony of the encroaching darkness. The Son of Man, betrayed by one of his own, embraced the bitter cup of suffering with unwavering resolve, a testament to the boundless love that coursed through his veins like a river of living water. As the shackles of human injustice clamped down upon his wrists, the heavens wept in silence, for the weight of the world's transgressions bore down upon his shoulders. And yet, in the midst of the anguish and the sorrow, the light of divine grace shone brightly, illuminating the path to Golgotha and the cross that awaited. In the shadows of the garden, where the seeds of redemption were sown, the story of mankind's salvation began its final chapter. Through the dark night of betrayal and suffering, the morning light of hope and love beckoned, calling forth the promise of a new dawn, a radiant horizon where the Son of God would rise triumphant over sin and death. 
In the twilight hours, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting its final golden rays upon the ancient city, the divine tapestry of the Redeemer's story unraveled, weaving a tale of love, sacrifice, and salvation. As the shadows lengthened and darkness crept in, the final moments before the turning of the tide played out, each thread intricately spun and intertwined by the unseen hand of providence. The Lamb of God, the embodiment of grace and mercy, sat among his chosen, his voice a balm to their weary souls. With wisdom eternal, he spoke of things to come, of trials and tribulations, of hearts shattered and faith tested. He spoke of love, a love that would stretch beyond the horizon, enveloping the world in its tender embrace. In the hallowed halls of power, the dark whispers of conspiracy slithered like serpents, weaving their venomous plots. The hearts of men, driven by greed and envy, plotted to extinguish the light of the world, seeking to douse the flame that threatened to illuminate the darkness of their souls. And in the quiet solitude of prayer, the Son of Man knelt, his heart burdened with the weight of a world's sins. As the tears of blood stained the ground, he communed with his Father, seeking solace and strength in the face of the impending storm. Among his own, a traitor lurked, his heart poisoned by the bitter taste of silver. Like a wolf among the flock, he prowled, biding his time, waiting for the moment to strike. As he slipped away into the night, the echoes of his footsteps marked the beginning of the end, the countdown to the moment when innocence would be shackled and love would be nailed to a cross. As the threads of fate converged, the stage was set for the final act of this eternal drama. In the dark alleys and secret chambers, the forces of darkness gathered, marshalling their strength for the battle to come. And yet, amidst the tempests of human malice and despair, the beacon of divine love burned brightly, refusing to be extinguished, heralding the dawn of a new age where hope would triumph over darkness and life would conquer death. In the depths of night, when shadows whispered secrets and the moon hid her face in sorrow, the tale of treachery took root, a bitter seed sown in the soil of human frailty. A heart once devoted, now twisted and tormented, danced to the tune of avarice, betraying the love that had once nurtured it. Judas, once a disciple, now a pawn in the grand game of darkness, stood at the precipice of infamy, his soul a battleground where greed and loyalty waged war. In the end, the allure of silver proved too strong, the siren call of material gain drowning out the echoes of love and fellowship. In the quiet sanctuary of the garden, where olives wept their tears of oil, the Son of Man communed with his Father, his spirit unyielding in the face of destiny. Yet, it was here, amidst the serenity of nature's embrace, that the viper's fangs would find their mark. As the torches flickered like fireflies, casting eerie shadows upon the ground, the traitor emerged, leading a motley band of soldiers and false authority. With a feigned air of intimacy, the betrayer approached, sealing the fate of the lamb with a kiss, that most sacred of gestures now tainted with the poison of deceit. Oh, the irony of love betrayed by a token of affection! A moment etched in the annals of history, a testament to the depths of human weakness, where brother would sell brother for a mere handful of coins. And as the light of the world was led away, the weight of betrayal heavy upon his shoulders, one could not help but glimpse a glimmer of divine purpose. For it was through this darkest of deeds that the stage was set for the ultimate act of love, where the chains of sin would be shattered, and the doors of salvation flung wide open. In the twilight of that fateful eve, as stars bore silent witness to the unraveling drama, the Son of Man, cloaked in humility and bound by mortal hands, was led to face the fires of judgment. The halls of human justice, now tainted with the stench of deceit, would play host to a travesty, a mockery of truth itself. Jesus, the embodiment of grace, stood before the eyes of the world, a lone figure in the tempest of hate and fear. In this solemn arena, the forces of darkness conspired to extinguish the light, their hearts hardened by the relentless pursuit of power and the illusion of control. The trials unfolded, a twisted tapestry of lies and accusations woven by those who would see the Son of God condemned. With every question, every challenge, he met their gaze with a steadfast serenity that spoke volumes, his silence a testimony to the wisdom of surrender and the strength that lies within. In the shadows of the council chambers, they gathered, like vultures to a carcass, their souls consumed by the hunger for retribution. And as the night gave way to the cold light of dawn, their thirst for blood would be slaked, the verdict rendered by the whim of a fickle crowd, swayed by the winds of fear and ignorance. Yet, through the haze of injustice and the fog of human cruelty, a divine narrative emerged. For it was in the trials of Jesus, this cruel gauntlet of pain and humiliation, that the tapestry of redemption began to unfold, each thread a testament to the eternal love of a father for his children.
And as the story played out on this somber stage, a new chapter in the history of mankind began, a tale of sacrifice and salvation that would echo through the ages. As darkness enveloped the realm, a clandestine gathering took place, hidden from the prying eyes of the world. The mighty Sanhedrin, the assembly of wisdom and authority, convened in the shadows, their hearts stirred by a storm of fear and envy. In the hallowed halls of judgment, they came to question the light, the one who dared to challenge their dominion. In the center of this austere court stood Jesus, the Lamb of God, bound and bruised, yet radiating a quiet dignity that pierced the gloom. Before him, the council of elders and scribes, their countenances etched with disdain and apprehension, hungered to condemn the Son of Man for his transgressions against their sacred traditions. The air grew thick with tension as false witnesses were called forth, their voices raised in a cacophony of deceit, their testimonies a tangled web of lies and half-truths. But, like chaff in the wind, these accusations faltered, failing to bring the weight of conviction upon the gentle Nazarene. And then, a question, laden with consequence, was cast into the fray by the high priest himself, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? To this, the humble prisoner replied with a quiet resolve, his voice resolute and unwavering, I am. The council erupted in a tempest of fury and indignation, their voices a thunderous cry for judgment. The high priest, his heart hardened by the blindness of his own pride, rent his garments in a gesture of despair, his soul consumed by the flames of his own wrath. In this dimly lit chamber, the die was cast, the fate of the Son of God sealed by the hands of the very ones he had come to save. And as the Sanhedrin pronounced their fateful verdict, the first rays of dawn crept upon the horizon, heralding the beginning of a day that would forever change the course of history. In the cold embrace of dawn, a new stage was set, where the Lamb of God would face the judgment of an empire. Before the mighty Pontius Pilate, the embodiment of Roman authority and power, stood Jesus, the humble Nazarene, his eyes filled with compassion, his countenance etched with the marks of a night filled with anguish and betrayal. The clamor of the crowd, like the crashing waves of a tempest, echoed through the halls of judgment as the chief priests and elders fervently accused the gentle prisoner. Their voices, poisoned with malice and envy, sought to sway the heart of the Roman governor, urging him to condemn the king of the Jews. Pilate, a man of reason and intellect, beheld the prisoner before him and found no fault in his actions or his words. His heart, though hardened by the demands of his office, was stirred by a sense of justice, an instinctive understanding that the man who stood before him was innocent. Yet, the relentless tide of accusation and hostility surged against the resolve of the Roman magistrate. The people, once enamored by the teachings and miracles of the Son of Man, now raised their voices in a chorus of condemnation, their hearts blinded by the darkness of their own hatred. In a desperate bid to spare the life of the innocent, Pilate offered the masses a choice, the release of Jesus or the release of Barabbas, a notorious criminal, a living embodiment of violence and rebellion. But the bloodlust of the crowd would not be sated, and their cries grew louder, demanding the release of Barabbas and the crucifixion of the Christ. And so, with the weight of the world upon his shoulders, Pontius Pilate washed his hands of the matter, a symbolic gesture of his own unwillingness to condemn the innocent. The die was cast, the fate of the Son of God sealed by the hands of both Jew and Gentile, a grim testament to the depths of human depravity. As the sentence was pronounced, the sun rose higher in the sky, casting its light upon a world that would soon witness the ultimate sacrifice, the culmination of a divine plan set in motion since the dawn of time. As the shadows grew long and the sun reached its zenith, a somber procession made its way through the dusty streets of Jerusalem. The Lamb of God, the embodiment of love and mercy, was led to Golgotha, the place of the skull, where the final act of divine grace would unfold upon the rugged cross. The air was heavy with the scent of anguish and sorrow as the people, once his followers, now looked upon him with a mix of curiosity and disdain. Jesus, the great healer and teacher, carried the weight of the cross, the instrument of his own death, upon his weary shoulders, each step a testament to his boundless love for humanity. As the procession drew near to the summit of Golgotha, the heavens above brooded with a palpable sense of foreboding, as if the very fabric of creation were trembling in anticipation of the events to come. The earth, a silent witness to the unfolding drama, bore the weight of the divine sacrifice upon its ancient shoulders. At the foot of the cross, the Roman soldiers, hardened by countless battles and executions, carried out their grim duties with cold efficiency. They drove the cruel nails through the hands and feet of the Son of Man, indifferent to the suffering of the one who would ultimately save their souls. 
each nail driven into his sacred flesh, a symphony of agony echoed through the heavens and pierced the heart of creation. The cross, a crude and unyielding instrument of torture, became the altar upon which the Lamb of God was to be sacrificed. Suspended between heaven and earth, the Son of Man bore witness to the sins of humanity, his divine essence transformed into a conduit for the redemption of the world. As the hours wore on, the sky above became a canvas of despair, painted in shades of darkness and sorrow. The sun, as if recoiling in horror from the sight before it, hid its radiant face, casting the world into an eerie twilight. The earth itself trembled with grief, unable to bear the anguish of the Messiah's suffering. Around the cross, a sea of faces gathered, their eyes reflecting a mixture of curiosity, disbelief, and grief. Yet, amidst the cacophony of sobs and jeers, a voice of boundless love and forgiveness emerged, a voice that would resonate through the ages and echo within the hearts of those who yearned for redemption. As the Savior's life ebbed away, the veil between the temporal and the eternal began to fray, the cosmic tapestry of creation unraveling as the magnitude of his sacrifice was unveiled. The temple curtain, once a barrier between mankind and the divine, was torn asunder, signifying the breaking of separation and the dawn of a new covenant. And in that moment, as the Son of God surrendered his spirit, the full weight of his divine sacrifice was revealed. For in his crucifixion, the debt of humanity's transgressions was paid, and the door to eternal life was flung wide, inviting all who would believe to enter into the embrace of divine love and forgiveness. Upon that cross of sorrow and pain, the ancient prophecies, whispered through the ages, found their fulfillment in the lifeblood of the Lamb. The tapestry of divine revelation, woven with threads of promise and hope, now revealed the grand design, a crimson portrait of redemption, its beauty radiating from the heart of sacrifice. The sacrificial system, a shadow of what was to come, had long served as a harbinger of this transcendent moment. Each offering, an echo of divine love, whispered of a greater sacrifice, a deeper atonement. The blood of bulls and goats, a temporary balm for the soul, could not compare to the eternal healing wrought by the blood of the Lamb. From the dawn of creation, the story had been written, each verse an intimate and intricate part of the divine narrative. The seed of the woman, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the suffering servant, and the victorious king, all images etched in the sacred texts, now coalescing in the person of the Messiah. As he hung upon the cross, the fullness of the sacrificial system was unveiled in his precious blood. The Passover lamb, whose life was given to protect and deliver the children of Israel, now found its ultimate expression in the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. The high priest, who once entered the Holy of Holies bearing the weight of his people's sins, now found his eternal counterpart in the great high priest, who, through his own blood, entered the heavenly sanctuary and obtained eternal redemption for all who would believe. In that sacred moment, as prophecy and promise converged upon the crucified Christ, the ancient sacrificial system found its fulfillment. And the echoes of the past harmonized with the triumphant notes of the present, composing a symphony of redemption that would resound throughout the ages, forever changing the course of human history. In that profound moment, the veil between humanity and the divine was rent in two, as heaven bore witness to the unimaginable cost of love. Crimson stains of sacrifice adorned his sacred brow, the echoes of his final prayer still lingering in the air. The world, as if holding its breath, bore witness to the unfolding of a divine mystery, a love story written in the language of pain and redemption. His battered frame, a testament to the depths of human cruelty, trembled with the weight of his purpose. The nails that pierced his flesh, the mocking cries that pierced his heart, the sins of mankind that pierced his very soul, each a facet of the gem of redemption, refracting the light of divine love into a thousand radiant colors. The eyes of the Savior, those eternal wellsprings of compassion, surveyed the sea of faces that swirled beneath him. Friends and foes, believers and skeptics, the lost and the found, each etched upon his heart, each engraved upon his mind, each a name he whispered in the silence of his anguish. And in that hour, as the shadows lengthened and the end drew near, the Son of God lifted his voice to the heavens, offering the final gift of his mortal life. Father, he cried, into your hands I commit my spirit. The words, like a chorus of angels, resounded through the cosmos, heralding the consummation of the divine plan. With one last breath, the Lamb of God surrendered his spirit to the Father, his life a fragrant offering, his love a bridge spanning the chasm of sin and death. As the veil of the temple tore, as the earth quaked in mourning, as the heavens wept in silent awe, the story of the ultimate sacrifice reached its climax, the final note of a symphony of redemption that would echo through the ages.
In the hallowed halls of history, where sacred truths and ancient rites converge, the story of the Son of God unfolds like a tapestry of divine love. Woven into its intricate design, the threads of sacrifice and redemption intertwine, revealing a pattern of divine purpose that spans the ages. And at the heart of this celestial fabric, a crimson thread of blood and sacrifice connects the mysteries of the Judaic sacrificial system to the cross upon which the Lamb of God was slain. In the days of old, when the children of Israel stood at the threshold of the Promised Land, the shadows of their future hope were cast upon the Altar of Atonement. With the blood of bulls and goats, they sought to cleanse the stains of sin from their weary souls, longing for the day when the true Lamb would come to take away the sins of the world. And in the fullness of time, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, the embodiment of divine love, the fulfillment of ancient prophecies, the answer to the prayers of a thousand generations. The Son of God stepped from the realms of glory into the dust and turmoil of human history, His mission etched upon His heart like a sacred covenant, His purpose shining like a beacon through the darkness of sin and despair. As the Lamb of God, Jesus bore the weight of the world upon His shoulders, His life a living testament to the transformative power of divine love. He became the true and final sacrifice, the culmination of the sacrificial system, the bridge between the shadows of the past and the eternal light of the future. With his blood, he sealed a new covenant, a covenant of grace and mercy, a covenant that would forever shatter the chains of sin and death. In the dying embers of that fateful day, as the Son of God breathed his last upon the cross, the ancient sacrificial system reached its apex, its purpose fulfilled, its mysteries unveiled. The crimson thread that connected the altar of atonement to the cross of Calvary had woven a story of redemption, a story that would forever change the course of human history. In his death, the Lamb of God became the bridge between the sacred rites of old and the eternal promise of the kingdom to come, the fulfillment of the divine plan and the embodiment of a love that would never fade. As the sun dips below the horizon, casting its golden rays upon the echoes of history and the whispers of divine mysteries, we stand at the precipice of understanding, our hearts alight with the fire of revelation. The sacred story of the Lamb of God, woven through the tapestry of time, finds its culmination in the cross of Calvary, the bridge between the ancient sacrificial system and the eternal hope of salvation. We bear witness to the unfolding of a divine love story, a story that transcends the boundaries of time and space, a story that has the power to heal and transform even the most broken of hearts. As the final chapters of this celestial tale are revealed, we are called to embrace the truth of the Lamb's sacrifice and to share this message of hope and redemption with the world. Let our hearts be stirred by the poetry of divine purpose, our minds awaken to the beauty of heavenly wisdom, and our souls forever marked by the brush strokes of divine grace. For in the crimson hues of sacrifice and the golden rays of resurrection, we find the key to unlocking the deepest mysteries of the human heart, the answer to the eternal question of life's meaning and purpose. As we journey through the sacred corridors of time, bearing witness to the divine tapestry of redemption, let us never forget the power of the Lamb's sacrifice, the beauty of His love, and the hope that it brings to a world in need. For in the story of the cross, we find the true essence of our faith, the cornerstone upon which the kingdom of God is built, and the eternal promise of a love that never dies. In the hallowed halls of eternity, where the echoes of the past and the whispers of the future merge, let us stand as witnesses to the divine story, our hearts forever united by the love of the Lamb of God, and our lives forever dedicated to sharing the light of His truth with the world. In the twilight of history, where shadows of ancient rites and rituals dance upon the tapestry of time, the echoes of a sacred promise resound with divine harmony. The ancient covenant, woven through the ages, finds its ultimate fulfillment in the sacrificial act of boundless love, the crimson tide that flows from the heart of the Lamb of God. In the sacred groves of the Judaic sacrificial system, the fragrant smoke of offerings and the whispered prayers of the faithful ascend to the heavens, bearing witness to the divine covenant between the Creator and His children. Each sacrificial act, a testament to the yearning for atonement and reconciliation, a foretelling of the eternal love story that would culminate upon the wood of the cross. As the Lamb of God, Jesus stands at the nexus of time and eternity, the bridge that spans the chasm between the ancient sacrificial system and the dawn of a new covenant. In His outstretched arms, the weight of the world's sins find their absolution, the burden of guilt transformed into the promise of redemption. In the hallowed silence of Calvary's hill, the echoes of a thousand sacrifices merge in the symphony of divine love, the ancient rites and rituals finding their ultimate fulfillment in the Lamb's selfless act. 
As the crimson tide of his life blood stains the earth, the ancient promise is made manifest, the shadows of the past giving way to the brilliant light of eternal hope. No longer bound by the constraints of the temple or the cycle of sin and sacrifice, the hearts of the faithful are set free by the infinite love of the Lamb. His ultimate sacrifice, the final act in the celestial drama of redemption, marks the dawn of a new age, the birth of a kingdom where love reigns supreme and the shadows of the past are forever dispelled. In the glorious crescendo of the divine symphony, the Lamb of God takes his place upon the throne of eternity, his ultimate sacrifice heralding the fulfillment of the ancient covenant and the dawn of a new age. With hearts ablaze with the fire of divine love, let us bear witness to the power of the Lamb's sacrifice, the beauty of his eternal gift, and the promise of a love that knows no bounds. In the twilight of our weary souls, the embers of hope still flicker, casting a dim light upon the path of redemption. The blood-stained fabric of our existence, torn and tattered by the relentless winds of sin, yearns for the healing touch of divine grace. It is in this hallowed moment, when darkness threatens to consume the last remnants of light, that the eternal song of salvation rings forth, a celestial melody born from the sacrificial heart of the Lamb of God. The implications of his sacrifice, a love so vast and boundless, cascades upon the shores of humanity like the mighty waves of an eternal sea. No longer shackled by the chains of sin and death, the children of the Most High are set free to dance in the radiant light of divine grace, their hearts aflame with the joy of redemption. From the Garden of Eden to the crimson-stained hill of Golgotha, the threads of humanity's story are woven together by the eternal hand of the Creator, each strand bearing witness to the unyielding love of the Divine. The sacrifice of the Lamb, the embodiment of God's infinite mercy, weaves a golden thread through the tapestry of time, illuminating the path to reconciliation and everlasting life. In the shadow of the cross, we find the ultimate manifestation of love, a love that knows no bounds, a love that transcends time and space. This divine gift, born from the depths of the Creator's heart, breathes new life into the parched and weary souls of mankind, transforming the barren wasteland of sin into a verdant garden of grace. The implications of Jesus' sacrifice are vast and eternal, reaching beyond the confines of earthly existence and echoing through the celestial realms. Through his selfless act, the veil of darkness is torn asunder, revealing the radiant face of the divine, a face that shines with the brilliance of a thousand suns, a face that whispers the sweet song of salvation to every corner of creation. Let us rejoice in the boundless love of the Lamb of God, his sacrifice a beacon of hope for all humanity. With hearts filled with gratitude and awe, let us embrace the eternal implications of his divine gift, a gift that shines like a guiding star in the darkest night, leading us ever onward toward the heavenly shores of everlasting peace and joy.